This is a video demonstrating ray tracing using the PESCO optics kit. The items that you will need are going to be the light source, its power supply, some pieces of white paper, a protractor, the three-sided mirror with a straight edge, concave edge, and convex edge, the concave thin lens and the convex thin lens, and of course, a pencil. When you plug in the light source, the light will come on. There are multiple parts to this light source. The one that displays the target will be used in a later portion of the lab. For now, the part that you need is the face and initially select it to a single slit. Later on, we'll switch it using this handle in the front uh, to the three parallel rays. We will not be using the five parallel rays or the color spectrum. For now, so just start with the single straight slit. Handle the mirror carefully at its corners never smudge the faces with your fingers and initially set it with the straight face so that the light beam strikes it. Make sure it stays constant, then trace out the straight face and make some notations as to the incident ray and the reflected ray. Put the mirror to the side and then you can finish the job using a ruler. Connecting those dots. Don't forget to do proper labels for incident ray one and reflected ray one. To be able to establish the angle of incidence and reflection, you first need a normal to the surface at the point of reflection. For that, you will need to put your protractor aligned at the zero point along the straight edge and at the point of reflection. and trace out this so-called normal to the surface, which is uh, the perpendicular, 90 degrees to the surface, and then trace it out. Then use your protractor to make the measurements on one side, Make sure that the dot is still at the zero point and you align with zero. So I am counting approximately 22 degrees for angle of incidence one. Then flip it around once again. 
align with the dot and the zero and then let's see 20 uh, just about the same it looks like 20 remember uh, more like 21 and a half on this side but there is a margin of error for this then you can repeat the procedure uh, and if you want to be efficient you will uh, do it on the same drawing re-angling the light source not the paper to strike exactly the same spot as before pick up the mirror by the corners put it along the same line exactly as you did before and then repeat with uh, the drawings and then repeat for a third angle as well striking the same point And then you label and make the necessary angle measurements, of course. <laughs> 